What's up guys? So I'm back in the car already. I didn't film an intro today on the canal because it was next to a busy road so it was pretty loud. So I'm filming the intro now in the car. Today I'm going out, I'm walking the banks for snakeheads. I'm finally back in Florida. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to look at my Columbia series, check that out. I'll probably link something right here. Uh, uh, one of my videos from that series but um, yesterday I went out on my boat to fish for some snakehead and I was having some boat issues so it didn't last very long but I did catch one pretty nice fish that I'm probably gonna play right now What's up? Uh, yeah, I got a fish on. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's nice. <laughs> he's nice. All right, I gotta get out of here. Oh. Nice. It's not a bad one. I only knew. How are you doing? <laughs> you have a bunch of them. Really? Oh, that was a nice fish. Yeah. Not this one though, I'm putting them back. Yeah. I have a lot of those too. <laughs> it's a snake head. Oh, snake head. Literally that frog is gone. Wow, literally inhaled that. <sighs> yeah. Alright, this is what we're after. Nice snake head. Uh, <laughs> kind of a hectic fight. The, the guy that lives right here was like freaking out and then it got wrapped up in his pipe. So uh, that's what we're looking for though. This is probably only like a three and a half, four pounder. Alright, we're gonna get this guy go. Hopefully, we can get a bigger one. But, uh, Let's see. And then after that, I'm gonna jump into today. But uh, today was a good day overall. I'm gonna be throwing this bone colored Guggen frog. These things always get it done for me. So uh, today was no different for that. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, stay tuned. Almost lost this guy. He's huge. It's gotta be at least seven pounder. Dude, the drag on that thing, and my drag is not loose. I'm gonna try to pick him up. He's not happy. Yeah, he's not happy. Come on. Look at this guy. That's a big snakehead. I need to get a picture. Look at those blues. 
my god <laughs> all right i gotta get a picture i'm gonna get a weight on him this fish is not happy almost lost him all right zeroed out i'm gonna guess eight pounds seven point eight let's go that's tank Seven point eight pounds. Absolute giant. Hey, let's go. Literally been fishing for like ten minutes. Just got this eight pounder, seven point eight. We can get a nice release on him, but this is definitely what we're looking for. Let's go. Had him out for a little bit for pictures, so I'm sure he's gonna take off here. Yep. Nice. Eight pounder to start off the day. Let's go. On this Guggen Eat Me Frog. Let's go. I'm sure you guys heard my drag just absolutely peeling on that catch if the cars weren't in the way. <laughs> it's kind of loud in this spot because I'm next to a road. I wasn't too hyped during that fight because <laughs> it wasn't a crazy blow up so I honestly didn't think it was a big fish but then that thing started peeling and I knew. I still, for some reason, didn't think it was huge till I got it up on the bank, but definitely a good starter. There's a snakehead. Oh, he's nice there too. Another nice one. Let me get him over here. Definitely not as big as the last one, but that's three, four pounder. Absolutely. Oh my. <laughs> they cannot stay away from this rock. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, that was not super good for Buddy. Literally choked that thing. Let's see if we can get a good release on him. Oh, <laughs> he's already gone. Nice. All right. Oh my God. That's a giant, that's a giant. <sighs> Come on, stay on, that's a big fish. Yeah. It's a nice one. Oh. Let's go. All right. It's gonna be tough. Let me see if I can flip this one, I guess. Let's go. Another nice one. Ooh, this is like a couple minutes later. It's not as big as the last one, but again, just choked that frog. Another nice snakehead. Wow. Probably five, six pounder. I have the scale, so why not use it? I'm gonna say five and a half. All right. Basically five and a half. Another nice snake. All right. Get him off. 
go all right without a question i'm cutting this off you saw he literally choked that so i'm always cutting off at least like a foot up especially with the teeth of these snakehead you want to retie after you get a big one especially if it's deep in their mouth all right let's retie see if we can get one all right 13 pound bag 13 and a half pound bag on two two snakeheads not too shabby Not too shabby at all. All right, right here is a perfect spot for a sneak head to be. Oh, yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Called that one. Not gonna weigh that guy, but <laughs> nice when you can call him. not making the bag I caught that one because it was under that tree snakehead love sitting under trees like that right there if you guys are snakehead fishing that's one of my favorite spots to cast is anywhere there's an overhanging tree or bush or anything like that there's a good chance there's a snake in there. Another good one is uh, culvert pipes. Or uh, PVC pipes, I meant to say. Get a lot of snakes casting off of that. Let's see if I can get down in there. Oh, that is a spot. <laughs> Tiny, another small one. But as you saw, like I said, right under that tree. Look at that. Wow. Get him going. Another one under the tree. Get it done. Oh, God, what is that? <laughs> A large mouth. Let's go. Wow, that's a beautiful fish. Look at that. Not big, but that is a beautiful specimen. See you, buddy. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> that was cool. Thought that was bigger. These fish are biting today. No doubt about that. Cannot believe that didn't get bit. Oh my God. Still biting in the rain. Another one. Oh, all right, I'm letting him go. Sick. All right, now it's really coming down. 
I'm just gonna fish till I get back to the car. Maybe we'll catch more. And if not, I'm probably gonna call it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you wanna see more of my stuff, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.